Good afternoon, everyone. I, um, first of all, it's, it's a real honor for me to be here today to, to lend my support uh, to John McCall. And uh, before I say a few words about John, let me just thank uh, Joanne Nolet, who's, who's really done a fabulous job for us in Triad. Uh, and, and I'm going to just put a plug in for Triad, if I may. For those of you who don't know, Triad is a program uh, that exists between uh, local police, the sheriff's office, uh, and the senior center. And basically what our, our role is and our mission is, is to find ways to improve the quality of life for our seniors who have given so much to us over the years and whom I think uh, more than any other group in our country deserve uh, to get the return on their investment for what they've done. And so it's a way that we can come together in government and uh, make sure that our seniors are, are cared for, that their, their safety is uh, preserved and that they have a, uh, as good a quality of life and their golden years can be as golden as possible. Uh, so thank you, Try it. thank you, Twitter. So, now, um, I just want to say a few words before I introduce our honored guest. You know, I've known John for a lot of years, and John is one of those elected representatives who you really can count on to represent you to represent your interests and not represent necessarily himself first and whatever is left over will go to the people that elected him. John's, as you know, he's been involved in, in working with the homeless here in Taunton. He's constantly on the Facebook, I see him on Facebook all the time, putting out emergency notices and things that people need to be, be aware of with regards to uh, road closures and safety tips around uh, around uh, weather issues and so forth and so on. But more than anything, John's always looking for ways to find resources without having to have the taxpayers pay for them. So he contacts our agency and other agencies looking for ways that he can access these resources. And uh, look, I, I, I have to tell you, when I think of public servants, I think of people like John McCall because John honestly and truly in his heart cares about not only you, but all of us, not only here in Taunton, but across the Commonwealth. And so you're, you're really blessed to have John, a city councilor, who really cares about, about each and every one of you. So without any further ado, let me introduce to you uh, my friend, your friend, uh, John McCall, city councilor. opportunity to thank uh, our state representative Sean O'Connell. Thank you for where did she go? She went right by me, did you? Sean, thank you. Let's hear for Sean O'Connell. Also, a special thank you to our sheriff Tom Watson. Tom, thank you. And also, I'd like to thank my colleagues in government. I have on council at Don Cleary. Don, thank you very much. Also, Councilwoman. Jean Quinn, thank you. Also, I'd like to thank Carol Doherty on the school committee. And I have another good friend here, Peter Kaur, who is the team up commissioner, school committee. What else is here? Did I forget anything? Planning board. No, I'm retirement board, I know, I'm just joking. But uh, Peter has done a lot in service to the community, and I look up to this man because he gets involved in the community. And Peter, thank you so much for your service and everything you do. Also, I'd like to thank Todd Triad, the girls over here, um, Joanne Nolet, Barbara, Matera, and we also have uh, Irene Ferrandes. Where is Irene? Irene, right here. See it up right here. Now, as many of you might know Irene from 9-11, which was the dedication for, uh, that uh, dedication she puts together in September of 9-11. She's also going to be on TV talking about what she has done also. So I'd like to say thank you for what you've done on Irene. So, what's it called? NBC. Oh. So if you want to get her an autograph later, she takes autographs later. No, I'm just kidding. But I just want to say thank you for your service too, Irene Quintero. And I hope I'm not forgetting anyone here. And also, the Taunton, uh, the Greater Taunton Junior Women's Club. I just want to thank you for being here. 
And another part you that's very close to my heart, my good friend Mark Cook in the country. Mark, can you stand up? He's from the Matthew 25 party mission. Doing a great job helping with the homeless. Thank you. I'd like to also thank the service here for helping serve. The food is here for our guys here. Mike and Shiva, and Timon, Brianna, and Tony. We also have 10 people up over here. Say hi. Uh, Linda Suzo, right here, right in front of me. She's also helping. I hope I don't forget anyone. Uh, Alan, Alan and Jeff Posse for helping with uh, the front door. Thank you. And the most of all, the most important thing, let's thank our cook, Paul, for the great job from the last year. Let's hear for Joanne, she's one of my volunteers. And I hope I'm not forgetting everyone, oh jeez. You always get in trouble when you do forget someone. But, you know, most of you're probably saying, where's Maria? My wife, right? She didn't leave me, but she's in Germany. Because today, she's celebrating my mother-in-law's 80th birthday party. John, you take this? Can you do me a favor? Can we all sing happy birthday to my mother-in-law? And I'm going to send her to Germany tonight. So, John, if you want to spin around, we can all sing happy birthday to my mother-in-law. Her name is Annie, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Happy One thing is, I love, I love being your city councilman. I can't thank you enough for allowing me the opportunity to serve in the community as a city councilman. I really enjoy it. I, when someone calls me, I, I can share a funny story with you. My slogan, if you know, is all it takes is one call to John McCall. Well, my good friend Don Clary called me on my birthday to wish me a happy birthday. He goes, he didn't answer the phone. He goes, I'm not going to call you one call. I'm going to call you two call McCall. <laughs> so, that's the new thing around now. It's two call McCall. But uh, all kidding aside, it's really an honor serving on the city council. And I, I just, the feeling I get every day when I go in the community talking to people. People want someone they can talk to, someone that they can go to. We have a great team of city councilmen and women. We have a great mayor that's doing a great job. Things are getting done. We're working hard as we can as a team to get things done. But being on the city council, to me, is that I'm trying to be your voice. I, okay guys, get a little carried away. Come on. Time out. Come on, give me a second. Okay. Okay guys, I know everyone's excited for St. Patrick's Day, but I just want to say, to me, I'm here for you. Just remember, when you need to call someone that you need a, a problem on your street, you can call me. And I also have neighborhood me uh, meetings. I also have office hours. It's kind of strange having office hours, but I do have office hours. I see all of you would like to come see me. We can get together. All I feel is that you need someone that's going to represent you as much as you can. And as I mentioned to you earlier during my speech, I really love being on the council and serving. And I know this is my third uh, third uh, term coming up. And all I'm asking is each and every one of you, if you feel like I've done a good job for you, please talk to your friends, your neighbors, your relatives, and say, you know, John McCall's working hard for you. Just give me an opportunity to serve another term. Would you guys give me that opportunity again? A special thank you to our Tom Fire Department that's here today. We have this thank them for the excellent work they've done. Also, the uh, Tom Police Department, there's a few guys here from there. And I saw a friend Camelia from the DPW earlier. And think of all that snow we had and the work that those DPW guys did. I'd like to say thank you to them. All right, I just want to say, everyone have a great safe 
Patrick's Day party here. Let's have a good time. Let's continue to work together to make the best for our city. And let's work together for the future of our city too. God bless everyone and God bless